friends, today I want to do a unique way of swapping art. And I have um, these 3x3 three three cardboard, um, corrugated board, and I was thinking, uh, like, it's nice to have art and you can put it in a book or whatever, but if I thought, what if we had done um, swaps that are our mixed media art but we can make them into a sculpture so sculptured art you've seen where kids or people um like uh schools and whatnot and they put slits in these and they make like a, a sculptured art or sculptured building things well we're going to make our mixed media pieces and then we're going to be able to sculpture them so we're going to cut little pieces off like here I'm going to go like this and we're not going to cut too much we just got to make sure it's enough to be able to put the pieces together and you're going to just art this up this is your canvas you can um, do anything with it ink it um, whatever you want paint it doodle um, zentangle anything you want but this is going to be your piece. So now this one here, I'm going to go and do a triangle in the corners, just like this. And then they're going to be able to piece together. So this is a great swap. So if you have two swap partners and you have four pieces to make for each um, swap, you're going to have like eight pieces to put together and rearrange in different ways so all the art shows in different ways um, on your mantle or whatever, wherever you're going to place it. So, I thought that this was going to be an interesting idea and I hope you guys like it. I really like the idea that you can uh, do this and, 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 and push things together and start sculpting it and adding it to your decor but putting your art on it, and uh, yeah, I thought that was really, really an interesting thing to do. So here's a couple of pieces now. I'm going to be ready for those to be putting on me. Um, I'm going to do like a collage, um, some painting. You could just do some stamping. You could put tissue paper on it and stamp it, that kind of thing. So just make sure your slits are not too huge, but not they got to be big enough to put the card in there. And then we're just going from there. It's going to be like a, you know, collaging puzzle pieces, kind of. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty interesting. And I think it's going to look really unique. Oops. Really unique to have. Uh, this one might have been a big one. To have pieces like so or whatever on your coffee table or something so this is the project here today so I'm just gonna do a couple more pieces here I'm gonna do this one here and then that's it and uh, start my decorating it there are um, I think I think on Pinterest or just Google up images for um, how people make these little puzzle pieces for their kids um, it might be an educational part I don't know exactly where I found the or I seen the idea I just think it was a blog someone was talking about um, school kids stuff and they thought it was really cool and so I'm sharing it with you guys for this swap so I'm just gonna start with my Mod Podge and uh, you know, go from there. Put my book paper down, my tissues. I'm being very loud. <laughs> All that kind of stuff. And both sides. And I'm going to have to refill my Mod Podge. And really get it going nice. So if you do do it a little bit large, it might be fine because you're putting a lot of layers on them. And you're, you're not necessarily going to be layering on the inside but um like in the crevice of the this is mail happy mail I got um 
somebody colored, markered up some paper for me. So that's pretty cool. And I'm just going to use that in my art. So I just love using up stuff like this. So I might keep some of my triangle pieces for another piece. I, yeah, I'm just going to build it up from there. So this is going to be my swap. You could put some tissue paper on there. You could put a napkin, which would be really cute, and then adding stamping or whatever. You're just going to have to cut out the edges. Um, you just got to cut out the edges as you go when it's dry, but that's not a big deal. We do that with when with our ATC cards if we paste something too big on there or whatever. So just collage, Mod Podge, paint, um, ink up, draw, anything you like. Just make it your own piece of work. Something. I have some tape from one of my um, letters, pocket letters, that was on the envelope, so I'm going to glue that on. Someone's going to recognize their tape. See, I have tons of stuff like this that people have given me, gifted me, which is just perfect for little pieces to be put together. And you just keep adding to it. Yeah. I, I can't, I'll have to edit out what? Well, I just want to see if you want to go to Walmart. We could go, I could stop. Hey, just give me a second, okay? Yeah. So, just going to add some tissue over here. So it's looking really good on this piece here, and you could add paint to it after. This is just the beginning steps. There's layers. I mean, we do layers, peoples. Layers is so awesome. And some people are like, why do they bother? I know someone's like, well, I don't get it. Why? Because you're covering it up. But it's the layers that add interest. And it's, it's so hard to explain, but you guys get it, right? That, you know... Once you get a chance to play and you add and you know, see for yourself that it's the layers that really add some really nice interest. So you can have um, stuff dimensional, but make sure it's more in the center or where pieces are not going to, you know, block your putting together. So you can have a little bit of dimension, like say if I wanted to put one of my paper flowers on there, a little teeny weeny one, I can do that because. Where is it, my paper flowers? Well, I don't know, but like you could just add a little bit of dimension on there and it'll be fine. So, and I think this project's gonna be so super awesome. So, do that, guys. Cover it up and uh, do both sides and keep going and tell me how it goes and comment and tell me what you think of this project because I really think that this is gonna be very interesting and. I really like the idea that I'm going to have someone's art, um, you know, on my coffee table or wherever and keep messing around with it in every which way. I really like that idea. So, just continue with that. And I will show some pictures at the end because I'm going to be doing um, all four of these pieces for my swap. And... That is it. I'm just going to leave you here because I can. And you guys know I kind of wanted to uh, 
I'll probably actually maybe do a little video at the end of this and it'll be attached to this is just them all done but it's going to be the same process all the way around it's going to be so much fun I hope you guys enjoy this give me a thumbs up and I will see you soon and don't forget to craft like a duck <laughs>